It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown and my company is Partners in Learning. I want to welcome all of you to this webinar that I put together to talk about how to close more sales with less effort. And I just want to take a moment and just acknowledge you for being on this call because what that says to me is that you're a winner. You're a person of action. You know that you have a thirst for knowledge. You know you're capable of performing at a higher level. Not only do you know that, but you're willing to do something about it. So go ahead right now, if you're right-handed, take your right hand. If you're left-handed, take your left hand and put it in the air and just say, great job for being on this call today. Great job for being on this call today. The universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. And professionals are prepared, period. And if you look at the top performing salespeople, you'll find a common element among all of them. Little is left to chance. Pre-planned statements and responses are ready to go at a moment's notice in almost every situation. And really having the benefits, the competitive advantages, that's what's top of their minds. You know, there's going to be challenges, and there's going to be objections, but they're predictable. They're prepared for, and they're easily overcome without a second thought. Appropriate responses are prepared and practiced in advance. If it can be identified, it can be practiced, and it can be prepared for. And that's what makes the sales superstars the sales superstars. So in this webinar, you're going to find a blueprint for transforming your sales results using the same proven scripts, the same methods, strategies used by the top 1% of sales performers. <clears throat> this webinar is going to prepare you, it's going to equip you, it's going to give you the tools and strategies you need to fine tune your ability and techniques. It's going to make you more consistent. It's going to make you a more well-rounded salesperson because at the end of the day, you're responsible for your results. But without action, nothing changes. So I'm going to encourage you to take action on what you learn, and you'll begin to see the results instantly. That's what this is all about, instantly. So let's go ahead and turn to page number five. If you follow along in page number five, grab a paper, have a pen. You have the notebook. You have the playbook in front of you. Use that right now. Here is on page number five. The faintest writing is stronger than the strongest memory. And I want you to think for a moment. Here's your first exercise. I'm going to make a recommendation that you read your notes for 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks. So that's the exercise for the next two weeks. I want you to read your notes for 15 minutes a day. And why do I say read your notes for 15 minutes a day? Well, perhaps you've had this experience. Maybe you've been um, watching your favorite movie for the second or third time, reading your favorite book for the second time, or maybe you're in the car, you're hearing a song for the second or third time, and you just start singing along with the words of the song. And <clears throat> when did you ever really make a decision that you wanted to learn the words to the song? And the answer, obviously, is you never did. And that's what's going to happen now. As you go through this workbook, as you pick up these golden nuggets and these great ideas to just take your business to the next level, and because you're going to be able to close more sales, I want you to read your notes for 15 minutes a day for the next two weeks, and you're going to get a distinction. You're going to get an understanding that you're going to be able to apply that you didn't get the first time. And that's a recommendation I'm going to make for you. And as you get those distinctions, email those to me. Send me an email. Say, Shay, this is just an idea that I walked away with, and this is what's going to help me out. Okay, let's go to page number six. Page number six says, as long as you're going to be thinking, think big. <laughs> right there on the slide, I have a picture of Donald Trump. And whether you like Donald Trump or not, you certainly have to admire a person that was $900 million upside down and able to turn it around. And one of the ways he did that, one of the ways he did that and turned around was by thinking big. Now, I know for, for some of you, this is the very first time you've ever been to a Shea Brown uh, webinar. Maybe the first time you're hearing the sound of my voice. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes to tell you a little bit about myself and my background. And then I'm going to go into really the, the, the two outcomes that I have for my, for my presentation today. A little bit about me. I'm a native Washingtonian. I worked for two companies my entire career. First, after finishing undergraduate, and I went to Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland, and I didn't do sales. And then after finishing graduate school, I went to Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. I went on to work for Verizon for the next nine years, and I didn't do sales there either. And then back on May 31st, 2004, Verizon gave me the pink slip, or they laid me off. And perhaps you all know someone who's been laid off. I mean, it's it's a life-changing experience. 
you may want to jot this phrase in your notes. It, it comes from Albert Einstein. It has helped my top clients achieve great results, and here it is. With every seed of adversity, <laughs> there is an equal or greater seed of opportunity. So I decided to focus on some new opportunities. I want to do something bold, something adventurous, something different. So I took my little small severance from Verizon, decided I wanted to live the American dream. So I went down to Kinko's that night, had some business cards made up, and the very next day I was in business, and the business card just said, Shea Brown, and I had my cell phone number on it, and I called myself a business consultant. And then after about 60, maybe 90 days in business, I was tired, frustrated, struggling to get clients, and in short, I was out of money, and hence I learned the golden rule in business. At least I believe it's the golden rule according to Shea Brown, and of course no one has, has validated me on this, but before my days come to an end, they will. And here's the golden rule in business. You may want to have this in your notes. To never run out of money. <laughs> and the only way I know not to run out of money is to make more sales. Because when you make more sales, you make more money. And while money is not everything, cash flow just solves so many problems. So I had to learn how to sell to stay just in business. <laughs> and so I began to study some of the best of the best in sales. And some of my mentors, the big names are like a, a Tony Robbins, a Les Brown, a Zig Ziglar. I mean, these are the giants in my industry, but there's also a host of little guys. I call them the Shea Browns of the world. They're running around doing exactly what I'm doing today, just sharing their best ideas on how to make more sales with less effort so you can build your cash reserve, pay off your credit card debt, save for retirement, pay your mortgage, and so much more. And about five years ago, the number one sales mind in the world came into my life to mentor and train me to success. And his name is Eric Loftom, and he was the number one sales producer and trainer for the Anthony Robbins company. He's been helping salespeople for the last 13 years, and I call, I call Eric the sales superstar of sales training. And with Eric's help, you, you can imagine what happened. One is I, I started applying these skills in my own company. And here's, here's a phrase that you may want to jot in your notes, especially as, as my sales went up. And that's the first thing that happened. My sales improved. Go ahead and put this in your notes. Selling is a learned skill. You can learn to sell. So I began applying these sales principles in my business. My company grew, we hired people, we expanded, and we started teaching these sales ideas to everyday people who were just like me. And I'm just like you, by the way. I'm in the field, I got my sleeves rolled up, I'm asking for appointments, I'm handling objections. I mean, I know what it's like to live on 100% commission. So I'm just like you, are many of the people that I train every day. They, they weren't sales superstars when I met them. They were natural, everyday folks who had a dream. And they implemented the same techniques that I'm going to share with you tonight. And because of that, they were able to maintain their business, live their dream, serve more people. And at the end of the day, <laughs> they're making more money. And here's a principle of success. You've likely heard it, but it's so profound. You may want to have this in your notes. Success is a team sport. You can only get so far by yourself. And, and this has to be one of the undeniable truths of success. So my company, we're now going into our seventh year of business. And the mission of my company is to help 10 million sales professionals over the next 10 years make more sales with less effort. We consider ourselves the sales university for sales professionals who really want to build their selling skills, refresh and improve their selling techniques, and use language to comfortably move people to action on every sales presentation for their rest of their life. So that's a little bit about myself and my company. I have really two outcomes for this webinar today. My first outcome is just to add value, just to share some of the, the golden nuggets that I know on how to close the sale. I mean, step by step, what to do to have the prospect say yes, how to move them to action, specific techniques that you can implement immediately and get instant results. I mean, you hang up, you hang up or you either finish this webinar Finish this audio, you are prepared to go out there and live your dreams and improve the quality of life for many, many people every single day for the rest of your life. And that's my number one outcome. You get value. My second outcome is I'm going to share with you and extend an invitation for you and I to start working together, for me to personally mentor you. And I got one special offer. I'll, I'll let the cat out the bag early on for about $25 per month where you can stay in this conversation with me and my company. And I'll give you all the details at the very, very end of the presentation. You know, Tom Hopkins, just a, a master sales trainer, you know, he has a saying called, un 
unbelievable. And you can go Google Tom Hopkins. There's a picture of Tom right there. And he says, you know, when people ask how am I doing, he always says, unbelievable. He says, sales folks should always just tell them everything is unbelievable. But he also has another saying. And it's, it's and I, I want to share it with you just, just right now. And you go to his live seminars, and I started implementing this at my seminars. And you start off on page number seven. He'll have you repeat after him. And I want you to repeat after me right there. The words are right there, but if it's not, you can listen and you can repeat after me. Say, I'm alive, I'm awake, I feel great. Say it again. I'm alive. I'm awake. I feel great. Here's another one. I feel good. I feel fine. I feel this way all the time. <laughs> Try it again. I feel good. I feel fine. I feel this way all the time. Coming together is a beginning. Staying together is progress. And working together is what we call success. Now, there are three ways to elevate your sales results. And this is the philosophy of my company. It's what I believe. It's what I teach. And it flat out work. And it comes from working with literally thousands of sales professionals and countless companies. But it always boils down to one of these three ways or sometimes it's a combination of all three. And here they are. They're right there on the slide. The inner game, the outer game, and action. Just three simple ways. And you can apply these three ways to any area of life. But today is all about sales. Here's a one sentence definition. Just just so you have it for your notes because for some of you this is like trainer trainer content you're gonna apply it in your business and it's gonna grow and then you're gonna share it with other people the inner game is the mental side of success it's your belief systems it's your comfort zone it's how you deal with the fear of rejection it's truly your mindset it's your mindset so check in with yourself give yourself permission ask yourself over the last 30 days what has been your mindset about selling? What has been your beliefs? How have you been staying focused? And then the second fundamental way, and before I do that, there's a great quote here from Muhammad Ali. He says, to be great, to be a great champion, you must first believe you are the best. And if you're not, pretend that you are. <laughs> the second fundamental way to really increase your sales results is the outer game. And here's a one sentence definition the outer game is the tactical side of selling. In selling, it really boils down to what you say, when you say it, and how you say it. It's the how-tos of selling. It's your time management. It's your goal setting. It's your database. It's your closing script. It's your techniques that you use to get the prospect to say yes. It's, it's all your systems that you have right now in order to make your sales. And then the third fundamental way to increase your sales results, I only know of three ways, is action. And action is just moving yourself to follow through and do all the things that you know you should be doing in your business right now. It's one thing to intellectually know to do something. It's another thing to actually do it. So check in with yourself and ask yourself the question, over the last 30 days, have I been a person of action? And if you have, congratulations. And if you haven't, what would it mean in your business right now if you just took more action on everything you already know that you should be doing? I submit to you, you will create a breakthrough. It's happened for my clients, and it will happen for you. The next idea I just want to share with you is called baseline strategy. <clears throat> and your baseline is everything you're doing today. We're on page number 10. Everything you're doing today to produce the results you're producing today on a monthly basis. So let's say your income is $10,000 per month. Then your baseline right now is everything you're doing today to produce $10,000 per month. So it's the number of phone calls you're making. It's your follow-up. It's how you handle closing the deal. It's your mindset about closing. It's the techniques you use about closing. I mean, it's all the things you've got to do right now to generate $10,000 per month. Here's what the baseline strategy says. Continue to do everything you're doing today because it's producing a positive result. Then you add one new idea or one new strategy and thus you produce a greater result than $10,000. Now, part of the purpose of your subconscious mind is to answer whatever questions you ask it. That's one of the purposes of your subconscious mind. So go ahead and ask yourself right now, what is one thing, just one thing you can do today to produce a greater result? And go ahead and jot it down. Like you got on that page, you can identify seven. 
and it talks about adding something new, subtracting something, or improving something. But go ahead and start writing your laundry list. And I love the quote from Odd McDino. Let your first hour set the theme of success and positive action that is certain to echo through your entire day. Today will never happen again. How can you be more focused right now? And then on page number 11, it talks about what are your three best selling skills? You know, knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. Slide number 12, or page number 12 in the workbook. What are the three selling skills you need to improve, to tr dramatically improve your income? Today, be, be aware of how you're spending your 1,440 beautiful moments and spend them wisely. You know, there's 1,440 minutes in every single day if you've ever been to any of my seminars. And think about how you're spending that time right now. What can you do to be more productive? There are three key systems that I teach. And we're now on slide on page number 13. And here it is up on the webinar. I teach a lead generation system, an appointment setting system, and a lead conversion system. Just three, three systems. Go ahead and jot those three things. And let me go ahead and share. Lead generation system, you need to have a constant flow of qualified leads coming in. Sometimes I work with folks, and they say, Shay, I don't have enough leads. And I say, well, what's your system for generating leads? I was doing this recently with one of my clients. And truthfully, they, they've gone all year long, and they really didn't have a system for generating leads. Yes, they went to networking events, and yes, they were on Facebook, and, and yes, they made some phone calls, and yes, they tried to get some referrals, but they systematically wasn't stringing it together, and hence, they had a shortage of leads. The second system I teach is appointment setting system. you got got to get really good at setting appointments, whether it's a face-to-face a -face appointment, which is what some of you do, over the phone appointment, which is with others. Maybe it's an appointment for them to come to a webinar, like right now you're at this webinar. Or maybe it's an appointment for them to come out to see a presentation. Or maybe it's an appointment for them to get on the phone with your upline or with your manager. So I want you to think about setting appointments. And the third system, which is our main topic for today, this is the main attraction for today, lead conversion. I love that money in that plant right there on that slide. And lead conversion is converting a non-buyer into a buyer. At the end of the day, it's converting a non-buyer into a buyer. Brian Tracy says, perhaps the very best question that you can memorize and repeat over and over again is this. What is the most valuable use of my time right now? And part of it is educating the customer. Second of it is leading the customer. And third is going to be moving the customer to action. So we're going to talk about lead generation today. But I just want to give you the, the baseline because for some of you, you're like, Shay, I'm at $10,000 a month. I just need an extra five thousand or ten thousand dollars and what are the top sales performers doing right now like the top one percent what's all the ingredients they're mustering together to help them close these sales because I'm going on presentations I'm not closing these sales and you might be like one of my clients her name is, is Sally and Sally paid me to work with her one-on-one -on -one. so she's a coaching client and I charge anywhere from 250 to 500 dollars an hour and so I'm having this conversation with her and she just says Shay just just give me the best practices. She believes in the modeling principles. If someone else can do it, so can she. And so I gave her these 10 principles, and it made a huge difference for her. In one month, she generated $7,500 extra in income, over and beyond what she was making. And, and obviously, I can't take credit for my client's success, and I can't say I was the only reason they got there. But what I can say is that we made a difference for her, and I'm going to make a difference for you right now. So let me give you the 10 best practices of top performing salespeople. Page number 14, and it's right here on the slide. I'm going to go just right in order. So just go ahead and jot these down in your notes right now. Number one, they set high targets and goals. Top performers don't wait for their manager. They set their own goal. Number two, they carefully plan their quarter, month, and week, as well as their daily schedule. Number three, they set objectives for every sales call. Number four, they ask high value questions that probe to the heart of the issue. Number five, they listen carefully to what their prospects say. Number six, their sales presentation focuses on the prospect. Just like making phone calls. You know, 
I oftentimes hear when I'm working with folks, I say, well, Shay, I have a hard time making my calls, or it's very difficult for me to make these calls, or people are rude, or, you know, Shay, i got to be in the mood. And if that's you, if you're sitting there like some of my clients, then I want you to know you're making the call all about you. You're not focusing on the prospect. So by making the call up all about you, now all of a sudden you, there's a different type of feeling and rejection you get. You focus on how you can help someone just solve a problem. Okay, <clears throat> moving right along here. They are prepared for potential objections. Number seven. Top performers anticipate objections and plan their response. They don't wing it. They don't say what just pops it right in their mind. They know what they're going to say, when they're going to say it, and how they're going to say it. Number eight, they always establish next steps. Number nine, they follow up. You cannot rely on the prospect to call you. You need to take this initiative and you need to have a systematic way to do it. And number 10, put an asterisk by this one, put money idea by this one. This one, you do this one idea. If you do nothing else but do this one idea, you put money in your pocket for the rest of your life. They prospect continually to keep their pipeline full. full. And what this does, this helps them avoid highs and lows and schedule time to prospect every single day. And that's the key there. You schedule the time to prospect every single day sales prospecting precedes really actual selling and the job of sales prospecting is to locate qualified leads that may buy your products or services once you have some qualified leads then it's really time to start selling okay we're gonna move on to slide number or page number 15 the fundamental principle of selling and where I learned this idea from is Hilton Johnson and I took Hilton Johnson's program almost seven years ago. It was a $5,000 program at the time. And I learned this one idea. I learned a lot of ideas. And sometimes you learn one idea and you just use it over and over and over again. And that's what sales superstars do. And this one idea has helped my clients, especially when it comes to being able to really speak to the heart of the prospect. So I'll give you an example that, that was shared with me. Imagine for a moment that you're at your company's annual convention. And Maybe it's in Las Vegas, and your sleeping quarters happens to be on the 14th floor. So during the day, you're doing what you're doing, which you're going to workshops, and maybe Shea Brown is there. Hint, hint, little plug for me. Later that evening, you're back in your room, and you tell yourself, self, I'm going to go out and have a good time. So you walk out the door, you go to the elevator, you hit the button, and you have to wait because you're on the what? You're on the 14th floor, right? The door is open. You step inside. Maybe there's a gentleman there, Shea Brown, by the way. I'm everywhere. Yep, I'm back in the elevator. I look over at you and I say, are you at the convention? And you say, well, of course I am. And you show me that big old badge you have on. I say, ooh. And then as the doors are closing, I ask the question that you've been asked a thousand times. What do you do? And you've got about 10 to 15 seconds from the time you get from the top floor to the bottom floor to say something so profound that I at least ask for your business card. It's called the elevator speech the introduction, call it whatever you want. But I want to share with you right now a strategy to raise your baseline up in the area of your elevator speech. And here it is. It's going to be eight simple words. And whenever I tell folks I'm about to give them eight words, they always say, Shea Brown, that's a script. And I don't use a script. I mean, a script makes me sound canned. It makes me sound rehearsed. It makes me sound like a robot. And my reply is always the same. You're either using a script, and you know it, and you made it as powerful and persuasive as you possibly can, or you're winging it in either case whatever you say by definition is your script a sales script is just words in sequence that have meaning that's all it is so if you're saying something you have a meaning you're using a script and if not you're speaking in glossolalia is how dr donald j moyne says and glossolalia is how schizophrenics talk by the way they talk in words like block water cheer words that don't make sense so here are, here are eight words go ahead and jot these words in your notes when someone says what do you do do you know how dot 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 with a question mark and what I do is dot 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 now we know the first word out of your mouth is always a question and the last word out of your mouth is always a question I mean the hallmark of a sales superstar is really in the questions they ask so when someone says what do you do you would say this do you know how that brings them back present you're asking a question and look what I have on this slide right here do you know how you state a niche financial planners in this case and then you state a problem maybe using two adjectives so I said stress and concern 
about a problem that's so obvious that if my eight-year-old niece Lauren was here right now, she'd be like, duh, Uncle Shay, duh. So do you know how financial planners are stressed and concerned about generating leads and closing deals? Very simple statement. You plug yours in, and then they're going to say, yes. Say, well, what I do is I what? I teach your subject, financial planners, how to what? Generate leads and close deals. See, I don't want you to worry about what you're going to say or to sell them. I just want you to state there's a problem on the planet, and my company solves it better than anyone else. And even if you don't believe that, I want you to say, Shea Brown holds the belief for me right now. Shea Brown holds the belief for me right now. So do me a favor. Write yours out. Send it to me. Let me know your thoughts, and I'm going to, I'm going to respond back to you right away. The next idea I just want to share with you, and we're going down to slide number 15 or page 15 in your playbook, is the thought factory. And where I got this idea from is from a book called The Magic of Thinking Big by David Swartz. And that's just an incredible book. I mean, that's one of the books you have to have in your library. And in the book, he talks about a thought factory. And he talks about that the thought factory is, is always busy producing countless thoughts in one day. And production in your thought factory is it's under the charge of two foremen. And one of them we'll call Mr. Triumph. And there's a picture of Mr. Triumph right there. Woo, Mr. Triumph. And the other one is Mr. Defeat. Well, <laughs> there's Mr. Defeat, right? And Mr. Triumph, he's in charge of manufacturing positive thoughts. I mean, he specializes in producing, producing reasons why you can, reasons why you're qualified, reasons why you'll win. The other foreman, <laughs> Mr. Defeat, there he is right there. He produces negative, depreciating thoughts. I mean, he is your expert in developing reasons why you can't, why you're weak, why you're inadequate. And his specialty is the why you will fail chain of thoughts. Now, both Mr. Triumph and Mr. Defeat are intensely obedient. They snap at attention immediately. And all you need to do is signal either foreman with the slightest mental back of call with a signal, and they'll be right there. So let's just see how this works. Let's just say, for example, um, let's, let's try this example. Let's say you wake up in the morning and you tell yourself, today is a lousy day. Whoop, there you go, Mr. Defeat, right? Today is a lousy day. So Mr. Defeat, is in, he's now into action. And he manufactures some facts to prove you're right. He suggests that it's too hot or it's too cold. Business will be bad today. Sales will drop. Other people will be on the edge. Or you may get sick. I don't know. Your wife might be in a fussy mood. I mean, Mr. Defeat, he's like tremendously efficient. In just a few moments, he's got your soul. It is a bad day. Before you know it, it's a heck of a bad day. But tell yourself what today is fine. And Mr. Triumph, he signaled for it to act. He tells you this is a wonderful day. The weather is refreshing. It's good to be alive. Today, you can catch up on some of your work. And then it's a good day. So in like fashion, Mr. Defeat can show up and share with you why you can't sell, and, Mrs. and Mr. Triumph can show up and tell you why you will fail. Now, the more you work on either of these two foremen, the stronger he or she becomes. If Mr. Defeat is given more work to do, he adds personnel, and he takes up some space in your mind, and eventually take over your entire thought processing manufacturing. The only wise thing to do is to fire Mr. Defeat. You don't need him, you don't want him around to tell him that you can't, that you're not up to it, you're fail, and so on. Mr. Defeat won't help you get to where you want. So we've got to what? We've got to give Mr. Defeat the boot. But we're going to use Mr. Triumph like 100% of the time. And when any thought enters your mind, ask Mr. Triumph to go to work for you. He'll show up and he'll share with you why you can succeed. And the main reason I always like to say about Mr. Triumph is he's famous for telling me, Jay, you've done it before, you can do it again. If others have done it, so can you. So let's summon Mr. Triumph as we go through this webinar. I want you to pay close attention. I want you to take really good notes, and I want you to jot this down in your notes. Yes, I will. Put that in your notes right now. Yes, I will. And you're going to summon Mr. Triumph and say, it will be different for me. What it takes to be a champion? One word. It takes consistency. It takes consistency. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Don't try to do all that you're hearing today and watching in this webinar. Don't try to do it all. But here's the good news. You can do one. You can do one. Don't try to do them all, but you can do one. And that one can make a difference. I mean, believe it can be done. And when you believe something can be done, really believe your mind will find ways to do it. Believing a solution paves the way to the solution. To the solution. 
the question I'm asked often, how to sell without a sales pitch. And one of the things we're going to do here is we're going to take a, a few minutes and go right back to the basics. And why do I say go back to the basics? Well, let's say you're making $10,000 per month and you're executing the fundamentals. Well, you, you just get better mastery at one of these basics, and you can add another five or $10,000 to your pocket. And when you take the fundamentals, like the basics, and then you combine that with what I'm going to combine with later on in this presentation, cutting edge ideas, new technology, new ways of doing things, you put those two together, you create this breakthrough immediately in your business. So I'm really, really excited. I, mean, I, I can't wait to talk about the topic, how to sell without a sales pitch. Ultimately, to do what? To serve more people, to improve the quality of their life, and then thus you make more sales, and you will, in fact, make more money. I mean, that's really the good thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, we're going to go into, we're on page number 19 of the playbook. And I'm going to walk you through, step by step, a process that was shared with me and taught to me by Eric Lofton. Now, Eric, I believe, invented this idea. It's called the Sales Mountain. And the only way you would have heard of the Sales Mountain is if you're a student of Eric's like I am, and you may be teaching it to your team and to other folks, or you implement it in your business like I have, or you're like thousands of my clients who use this process right now. So here's how we're going to do it. On page 19, draw a mountain. So just draw up, just draw a mountain. And then at the bottom of the mountain, draw a line. So you got a base. And go to the top of the mountain, the peak, and about 25% way down draw a line and then in that area write down sweet spot write down sweet spot and the sweet spot is where the customer is ready to make a buy-in decision pay close attention don't miss this this is going to help you and what we're going to do is we're going to go mountain climbing we're going to take the prospect from the base of the mountain step by step we're going to climb up each step and walk them right into the sweet spot and the sweet spot is where the customer is ready to do what and that's right make a buy-in Decision. Oh, you've been paying attention. Thank you so much. So let's just start at the bottom of the mountain. At the very bottom of the mountain, go ahead and on the slide, there's the answer right there. Write down lead generation. The purpose of generating a lead is just to generate a lead. Now I'm going to give you some golden nuggets as I go up this mountain. And as I do, I want you to rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 on how you're doing in these areas. 1 meaning you do an okay job depending on the mood you're in, maybe how you're feeling, maybe what you got on that day. And 10 meaning you're the world's greatest person at doing it. You're so good, you can't wait to host your own webinar. <laughs> so lead generation. Go ahead and give yourself a scale. So let's say you gave yourself a six. Here's an idea, a golden nugget. You're going to need multiple lead generation systems. And two ideas that come to mind right now is one is called follow your money. It's a concept. For some of you, it's very, very applicable. And for others, you're like, ah, it's not for me. But follow your money is where you go wherever you're spending money at today and where it's appropriate. You prospect them, or better yet, you ask for referrals. Go ahead and jot this down in your notes. Everyone you meet is either a prospect or a source of referrals. Draw a line, and right above that, write down set appointment. So we're going mountain climbing. We generated a lead. Now we're going to set the appointment. And here's one of those $50,000 ideas over the course of your career. I'm going to tell you about one of my clients. Her name is Sarita. And Sarita, when I first started working with her, she said, Shay, I, if I can just get in front of them, if I can just you know, get them on the phone, they'll just meet with me. I'm really good at closing, but I can't close because I can't get enough appointments. So I gave her this one idea. Created a breakthrough for her. At the time, she was averaging about $3,000 a month. Implement this idea around setting appointments. She went from $3,000 a month over to over $5,000 a month for the last 11 months. And what's one of the reasons? You talk to her right now. She said, hey, I'm really good at setting appointments. And here it is. Here's the one gold nugget that created a breakthrough for her. And it's going to create a breakthrough for you as well. And here it is. The benefits of your appointment are different than the benefits of the product or service you're going to be offering. So when you're speaking to the prospect they got this mental teeter-totter in their mind on one side is value on the other side is what time and you've got to build standalone value as to why they should meet with you or you won't set as many appointments now some of the benefits to help you start your list could be um, like a seesaw so one might be you're going to show up on time that's a benefit it's obvious another benefit might be that you're going to arrive 15 minutes earlier another benefit is you're going to be prepared Another benefit is you're going to have a highly productive meeting. Another benefit could be it's going to be a good use of their time. You know, a benefit that's really, really helped Travis. I, I got to tell you about Travis. It's really quick. Just one 
benefit alone, he closed the deal, and it was over twelve hundred dollars in his pocket in commission. He gets a big salary, and here it is. There's nothing to buy. There's gonna be no pressure. I mean, that's just a great reason for folks to meet with you today. Okay, now I'm gonna go through the rest of these pretty quickly, but I want to set it up for you because I know you need a lead generation system and you need an appointment setting system. You need those two as part of the three key systems that I teach. The next step, right above set appointment, draw a line, and write down trust and rapport. So we're gonna imagine we're on the live presentation. Why would you want to believe trust and rapport is important? Well, here it is. Rapport reduces resistance. You want to enter the world of your prospect and you want to see the world from their view. Then right above trust and rapport, just follow right along with the webinar here, identify customer needs. You're going to ask powerful probing questions. You're going to ask powerful probing statements because the easiest way to persuade or influence someone is to find out what they want and give it to them. Direct quote from Dr. Donald J. Moy. So you want to identify the true need of your prospect and your presentation will become irresistible. Then right after identify customer needs, the next step, draw a line and write down share the benefits. Share the benefits. And here's another fifty thousand dollar idea. I mean, I wish I had more time to focus on these areas, but we're getting to the close. You're gonna master the close, but it's you gotta build up to it. But here it is. Go ahead and jot this down, you know. Put money idea by this idea. You ready? Right next to share the benefits. People buy benefits. <laughs> I love that slide. One of my favorite slides. People buy benefits. And it's been often said at sales trainings or webinars that people buy you. And, you know, that might not be the case anymore. I mean, I, I get it that you've got to know your product. I get it you got to have a good price point. I get it you got to have good customer service. I mean, I get it you got to have a pleasing personality. I mean, I get it that they got to like you. But at the end of the day, they buy the value you say that you're going to deliver and they want that value. Now, now we're in the sweet spot. So draw a line and now you're in the top 25%. So wherever the top 25% was your mountain, get there right now and after benefits. And go ahead and write down, ask for the order or close. Some folks, they have a stigma towards closing. But the close is just a natural conclusion to a well-delivered presentation. You're going to write your clothes out. I mean, you're going to make sure that you know word for word exactly what you're going to say, when you're going to say it. And I was working with another one of my clients, and his name is Kevin, and he was getting to the end of his presentation, and he was saying whatever popped in his head. I mean, not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. But he knew conceptually. He was like, you know, I know I can get a little better. I mean, what can I really do? And I said, well, the first thing we can do is we can take time to break your clothes down sentence by sentence. And then get you to memorize it. No, we're about memorizing the sentence, but the structure and how you're going to close, what you're going to say word for word. And then we can practice it. So by the time you delivered it, you delivered that presentation maybe 50 to 100 times in your mind. And it becomes second nature. There's no change. So we're going to talk about that today, closing mastery playbook. Then after you ask for the order, we know three things are going to happen. They're going to say yes, no, or give you a what? Objection for those of you that are my students out there. That's right. And you got it right above close, right down objection handling techniques so you've got to come out and be able to handle these objections a couple of different ways you can do that there's many different techniques but today I'll, I'll just share two one is to ask a question so no matter what they say you get to know your presentation how do you feel about moving forward how do you feel about signing a contract how do you feel about enrolling in our organization and whatever they say I don't have the money let's say An investigative technique goes like this you might say, is that your only concern? So you just want to keep the conversation going. You might ask another question, why do you say that? But don't say what pops in your head. Another technique that I'll share with you is called isolate. It's one of my favorite techniques. And here's the language pattern of isolate. Isolate goes like this. Other than blank, I'm sure you have some other concerns. Would you like to share any other concerns with me? All right. And then right after that, we have a wild card outside of the sales mountain. And this is part of the, it's a generic process. I mean, your process may go something like this. It might be slightly different, but it's along the same line. I mean, I'm going to make a, a bold statement, and I'm going to say that everyone you're working with right now, everyone you talk to, they're somewhere on this sales mountain. And you've got to give the best presentation at that time on the sales mountain. Outside of it, it's called follow-up. And <laughs> look at this slide. I mean, these numbers follow-up and here's one philosophy on follow-up 
And that is to follow up, follow up, follow up until they buy or die. <laughs> and this slide shows that 80% of sales are made on the 5th to 12th contact. So you know you've got to have a great follow-up system. And that's a step-by-step -step strategy, exactly what to do in order to close the sale. Because some people think it's just a shame. It's just a close. And I said, no, it's everything you've got to do that builds up to the close. It's your attitude. It's how you're using the outer game. And we spent a great deal of time starting off just focusing on the inner game. And I love the quote from Oprah Winfrey. She says, if you neglect to recharge a battery, it dies. If you run full speed ahead without stopping for water, you lose momentum to finish the race. And that's what this is all about, checking in. And then now we're going to go over and get to page 20, which is closing mastery strategies, specific step-by-step -step strategies to do that. But I know it takes a good mindset. Michael Jordan says, my attitude is that if you push me towards something that you think is a weakness, then I will turn that perceived weakness into a strength. And you'll be surprised. I mean, one of the reasons we created the seminar, it's like none that's ever been done before and released this to the public, is that closing for some folks is a weakness and they want to get better. Okay, now we're at slide number 20 in your book. M Master Closer Playbook. And I want you to check in with yourself. Sharpen your pencil if you're using a pencil. Get your pen ready and continue to take notes. Don't leave. Stay right there and I'm going, we're going to fill this in step by step. And here's what I want you to know. The outer game is about your methodologies. It's about your techniques. It's about your system. It's about your structure. And most of the clients I work with, they're just everyday average folks. When I say average folks, they're not sales superstars. They weren't born with sales in their DNA. But they realize that selling is a learned skill. And when they use these techniques, they could be themselves and speak from the heart. But more importantly, they can move people to action. And that's the question to ask yourself as you look at that mastery close, play, close or playbook. Do you know exactly what to say to move the prospect to action? And if you don't, I'm glad you're on this call because I'm going to share the secret that my top clients are doing right now. On slide number 20, it says, the secret ingredient to an irresistible presentation is your script, your word-for-word -word script. Life is too short to learn from just experience. So we're going to start off right now and talk about the trial close. And the trial close gives you an opportunity when you're speaking with the prospect to test something out. And if it works, then you'll do it. If it works in the direction that you want to go, then you'll do another test. And, you know, the, the best way to work up the courage to really ask for the order is to test it out early on. Because when you do that, it gives you a great opportunity. Now, here are a couple of examples. <clears throat> and you can jot these in your notes. How are we doing so far? That's a trial crows. Um, are we on track with this proposal? Are we on track with what you expected? Another one, you can fill it right in the blank. What do we need to do to get started? <laughs> what would it take to get this order? These, these are trial clothes. Easy to do and easy not to do. And you know when the best time to really do a trial close is when you're getting a good series of yes. When you see signs of approval. Um, maybe after you state a major customer benefit. You feel like they're ready to make a buying decision. You want one more benefit and then you're going to trial close and it's also after you answer an objection after you ask an objection you come right back and say okay tell me more about that <clears throat> the next very specific technique that I want to share with you right now is on page 22 and page 22 talks about the story close and you never really want to push your prospects you just want to lead them you know selling is in its truest form, it's about education, it's about leading, and for us to get paid, it's about them taking some action. Now, here are three good benefits of a good story. Stories, um, they drive home closing points. You can jot that down. Um, they act as invisible selling. You can jot that down. They speak to the prospect on a subconscious level, and stories captivate and they relax. Go ahead and put those down in your in your in your benefits section there 
And I want you to develop stories that close the sale. And know exactly what story you're going to tell right before you ask for the order. Effective stories to sell are, they aren't, um, they aren't over the top. So you don't have to go get a customer that went out and maybe if, you, if you're in my business, you say, well, they made $10 million, although you might have a story like that. You know, but you might tell stories of what they can relate to. Stories reassure. They prove value. They enhance the quality or lead to, they often go right to a larger order. So sometimes by you building that rapport, they take a baby step. And when you do well with that, they take some additional steps. Now, here's the easy-to-use formula. And, you know, Please go ahead and put this on page 23. Collect success stories and get every single detail you can. Now, I'll use a 3 by 5 note card, and I put it in a black box. And if you've been to any of my seminars, you'll see my black box. And inside that black box are different stories that I can share based on the audience. And oftentimes, when the audience is there, I'll go through and I'll pull out stories that are applicable to folks that are there. Write out the details. Now, another one is short clear and interesting. Rehearse telling your story. <laughs> I just said this earlier. Write your sales closing stories on three by five cards. And this one, put a money idea by this one. I mean, it's possible that you may have left $100,000 or more on the table over the last couple of years because you just weren't doing this last one. And here it is. <clears throat> Develop at least five good closing stories so that you know exactly what stories you're going to tell based on the person that you're speaking to. Page 24, the yes set close. And you know, you know, we know in sales you're always looking for a yes. And so you will want a one yes leads to another yes that leads to another yes. And it's not like hypnosis where you're trying to say, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. No, that's not what it's about. It's about you asking the right questions at the right time to help the customer at ease and say, you know what, I get this. I mean, I get this. So the goal really is to really establish an agreement before asking for the order. And you want to consistently ask a series of questions that will lead to a yes. And the little known secret, hey, here it is right here. Here's, I'll let you in on a little secret, if you will. <laughs> like you and I don't know how many people, maybe 10,000 people who will see this uh, webinar is here here's a little secret that we all can share amongst us it's preparation preparation is preparation preparation and for example you want to write down keywords on a notepad you want to know exactly what question you're going to ask example of yes set closes is is it important to you to increase your visibility do you have an interest in making more sales I always ask are you able to follow up on the new lease these are just a couple of questions that you can use immediately. The next one is the objection close. And, you know, I want you to listen very closely as we go through the objection close because objections are nothing more than questions in disguise. So when you hear an objection, you know it's a great opportunity. That means they're engaged. That means they're at least listening. And we can't control whether they, you know, are not going to do what they say they're going to do. But what we can control is that we won't get stymied when it comes to objections. The three toughest objections, <clears throat> you go ahead and jot this in your, in your notes and you can put it on page 25, is the no need objection. I don't have a need right now. Let me think about it. There's no, no rush. So you got to have a good sense of urgency close. Uh, the price, everyone wants it for free. So they don't want to pay anything at all if they can help us. So this, this opens it up for room for negotiation. But just know that it's a natural part of the sales process. There's nothing different about what you haven't already done. And then procrastination. No hurry. <laughs> I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it in the future. The key for handling these objections is to translate no need and really your mindset has to be, you know what, that means prove that I will benefit from your product or service. Like, you got to prove it. Um, when they say no money, you know, show me how it's going to pay for itself. I mean, I want to make an investment, but it's got to pay for itself. Otherwise, I don't have the money no hurry why do I need to take action today and then your script you might say that what's the number one reason why I need to take action today the summary close now this is one 
of my favorites. It's on page 26. Because the summary code, it helps the person refocuses. You know, maybe you said so much during a presentation, and now you've got to go back and do a recap, do a remix, and, and emphasize one more time what they get. Here's how the summary close works. Here's why and how it works. One, it minimizes confusion. Secondly, it refocuses the prospect's thinking on the benefits that people buy benefit. And it matches the prospect to their specific situation. Now, here are four steps to a successful summary close. It's right here on the slide. You can see it. Introduce your summary close with a smooth transition statement. So you might say, well, at this time, I'm going to do a quick recap. You know, it seems best for me to go back and go over the step by step so we're all on the same page. Another idea, briefly reconfirm your prospect's specific needs. Summarize how your features and benefits meet them. And then here's one, and it's not in your playbook, but you can jot it in the notes on page 26 under summary close. Put an asterisk by this one, put money idea, because you're going to be reading your notes for 15 minutes a day for what? The next two weeks, that's right, for the next two weeks, you're going to be reading your notes for 15 minutes a day. And here it is ask for the order in no uncertain terms. So I want you to step up right away and you're going to ask for the order. Smooth transition statements. At this point I'd like to review what we've discussed. Um, another one is why don't we take a moment and review some of the key points and see how they fit into your situation. Would that be okay? My favorite. May I suggest we take a step back and just look at the big picture. Okay. There are five ways to, to win with the summary close. Instead of repeating what you said before, condense it. Don't summarize with statements alone. Always ask questions. So, did you hear what I said? Does that make sense? Are you in agreement? The price close. Now, you know, let me let me give you just, just some techniques. And, you know, you're following along. We're now on, on page number 27, the price close. And sometimes... We'll, we'll get calls at the office, and maybe this happens for you. It happens to a number of our clients. They want to know exactly how much does it cost before you even before you even speak. And I want to share some ideas because you know that people buy benefits. And think about where they are on the sales mountain. They're not in the sweet spot. And our role is to get them into the sweet spot. So you might ask questions like, well, I'm glad you asked me that. I'll come back to it in a minute. Or it really depends on how you're, you're going to purchase it. Or let's discuss to see how you use it first four basic ways to present price present your price by adding up your benefits so you're going to get benefit A, benefit B, benefit C subtract the savings from your total price present your price by multiplying the benefits or just present your price by dividing it into small units I share more than four basic ways on page 27 but you know Make sure you, you put those in your notes because price is important, but when you handle it, it's just a natural part of the sales presentation. One of the things I love that Eric always says, he always says, don't become concerned when a natural part of the sales presentation works. Another one of my coaches is Brendan Pichard. And one of the things that he will mention is share with them exactly what they're getting and what it means to them. Now, these closing ideas that I'm sharing with you, I want to give you a three quick stories of clients that I work with and one of my clients his name is Peter and when I first started working with Peter Peter didn't have the sense of using the summary close now he sells a product and it's a marketing product and has several different components to it and I shared with him how he could break those components down to help in the summary and in the price not so much because um, it makes them move the action but because it, it becomes what Anthony Robbins call a clear and concise presentation. You say, here's the summary, and here's what you're going to receive, and here's the maximum benefit to you. Made a huge difference for him. Earlier this year, he was in a position where Peter was going to lose his home. And he and his wife were, were struggling. His wife had been laid off, and he needed to keep his income at a certain level to keep his job, and also to qualify for loan modification. And I'm really, really pleased that we helped him accelerate his clothes. And he used these techniques that I'm sharing with you right now, he used these techniques. I mean, I don't, I'm not just sharing something that I, I went and read in some book or um, I, I just came from some seminar. I'm like, whoa, let me get this information. No. What I'm sharing with you is with people that are in the field every single day doing is how they're earning their commissions. It's how they're paying their mortgage. It's how they're building their cash reserves. And it's why they have peace of mind. 
That means they don't work hard. It just means they have peace of mind. And if Peter can do it, you can do it as well. I'm going to tell you just a, another quick story of one of my clients, and her name is Cheryl. And, you know, Cheryl, when I first met her, she had just a just a just a fundamental problem and it wasn't a problem she had taken a number of sales training she had been in sales for over 10 years and she considered herself a master salesperson she would tell herself she is a sales superstar I shared with her the summary close and we did a rating just like you can do I said go ahead and rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 on on your closing techniques your closing strategy your closing system she said well Shay honestly I'm at a 7 I said well what would it mean if you went to an 8, 9 or 10 just it could easily be another five thousand dollars over the quarter that's personal income over and beyond what she was making and so we started working on the summary close and we wrote it out word for word she practiced it as well and you know she didn't earn an extra five thousand dollars but I'm, I'm happy to say that she did earn an extra two thousand dollars and you know here's the good news you know that was over a three-month period and Cheryl's still in some of my programs now we're no longer working one-on-one -on -one every single week but here's the good news. The good news is that if Cheryl can do it, you can do it. And the, the, and the techniques that I share with her, if she just did that, you know, four times, which is every once a quarter for the next year, that's an extra $8,000 of personal income. And if she can do it, you can do it as well. All right, now we're going to go into page number 28. I mean, this, I mean, <laughs> hang in there. You don't want to miss this. You want to hear what I'm about to tell you. This could be the difference maker for you as well. This could be the number one idea you need right now to unlock the code to find an easier way to be successful in sales and ultimately close more deals, serve more people, make a difference in the world, and make more money. And it's called the closing mindset. <laughs> Page 28. Closing attitudes. Persistence will lead to success. And I want you to have this mindset. I know I'm going to get the sale. Now, get the sale to me. You're going to convince them, persuade them, influence them. It means they have a problem, and you can help them solve it. And as long as they believe that, then good things are going to happen. So here are three essential attitudes to multiply your closing power that you have right now. Number one, the attitude of persistence. I will persist until I succeed from Og McDino. Number two, the attitude of sincere enthusiasm. I mean, I want you to, you don't have to jump up and down. You have to be running all around. You don't have to be saying yes and screaming at the top of your thung, uh, top of your lungs. But I want them to hear the passion in your voice. I want them to know that you're enthusiastic, that you're going to put yourself in a position to be able to help them. That's a mindset. That's a belief system. And then the attitude of exceptional value. You have a product you're proud of. It works. It's helped other people. It's going to help them. See, that's a mindset. And even if no one else believes it, you hold that belief. You hold that belief right now. Right there on the page, on page 28, there's a great quote by Donald Trump. And he says, you know, when I started out in business, I spent a great deal of time researching every detail that I might need in order to do the deal that I was interested in making. He said, and I still do that same thing today. People often comment on how quickly I operate. But the reason I can move quickly is that I've done the background work first, which is something no one sees. I prepare myself thoroughly, and then when the time is right, I move ahead. I'm ready to sprint. And that's what having these closing techniques are going to be able to do for you. You're going to know based on their personality exactly where they are and exactly what you need to say in order to get there. But it also starts with mindset. Now, why persistence always benefits both you and your prospect? Well, your prospects often don't know what their best interest is. So you need to persist in educating them until they do. Prospects often appear blind to do the things that will help them improve their situation. So you need to persist in helping them visualize and imagine and see a brighter future. <laughs> and I believe the prospects, they're just like us. <laughs> Sometimes uh, they're just reluctant to change. So you need to point out to them how costly it is not to change. That's the consequences of not taking action if they don't have your product or service. Now, you can create enthusiasm to peak perform. Here's some enthusiasm builders. Now, here's some mindset techniques. And, and go ahead go ahead and jot those down on your notes. Number one, I'm cool, calm, and confident. And I would do everything in my power to close this sale. 
talked about one earlier. I feel good. I feel fine. I feel this way all the time. I'm the best by any scale because I win the toughest sale. Here's another favorite. And these are these are some golden ideas out there. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is out there to win it all? This is a great day for closing the sale. I am right. I am resourceful. And I am what? I am ready. That's right. I am right. I am resourceful. And I am ready. This is a great day for closing the sale. The attitude of exceptional value. And I want you to have the attitude that you provide value as a company. I want you to value the testimonials that you're sharing, stories of folks who have used your product or service. Everyone that I mentioned tonight on this, on this webinar, they're participating in our programs, and it's made a difference in their life. There's a lifetime value because what I discovered is most folks, yeah, yes, they want to build their selling skills. And why do you want to build your selling skills or improve your selling skills or continue to sharpen your skills? Well, it's because you're, you'll be able to go out there and make a difference in the world. But that's not why people have hired me. Um, when you prove your skills, you make more money. But that's not why they hired me either. It's what the money will do for them. The exceptional value, it's allowing them to take care of a loved one. Send their kids, kids to a school of their choice. It's all the things that they can now do as a result of having the money. And for some folks, it's just peace of mind. It's a good feeling to know that they can take care of everything they've got to take care of, and it gives them a peace of mind. And I want you to know right now that you have the personal power inside of you to take your business to the next level. You can close more sales with less effort. You will listen to this audio. You will watch this webinar seven times. Mr. Defeat might be telling you, no, you're not. You've heard this before. I want you to summon, send a signal right now to Mr. Triumph. Dun, 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 dun. He says, if others have done it, so can you. And I want you to know right now that you can make the next 12 months your best 12 months ever. And what I, I like to do right now is I like to take just a few moments, a few minutes, and share with you how my company works and how you and I can work together in a relationship where you can be personally mentored by me every single week. You can personally ask me questions every single week. And I want to give you all the tools and resources you need to really take what you're doing to the next level. And many of my most successful clients, they started exactly with this program that I'm, I'm going to share with you right now. And it's called our Silver Partner Program, a proven system that will double your sales with less effort. And I believe it might be a baby step, but it's certainly the right step for where you are right now. And you may have read about it on our website. It's our most popular work-from-home sales training program. The investment in this program you can go ahead and write this in your notes. It's $1,295 to enter into a one-year mentor program with me over the next 52 weeks. But you won't pay a fraction of that. I already told you I got a really special offer right now. I just can't wait to tell you you can do it. But let me tell you what you'll get. In the Silver Partner Program, you get all the tools and resources you need to take your business to the next level. And all I ask for is 30 minutes per week. And you can pick when you spend the 30 minutes. I think there's two ways to learn anything. On one hand, you can learn these ideas and techniques on your own. And on the other hand, you can learn from an expert. And would you agree that the fastest, easiest way to learn is from an expert? <laughs> Absolutely. Let me tell you the purpose. The purpose of the program is to keep you focused and motivated throughout the year and build your selling skills. And as your selling skills build, you better use those skills for how long? <laughs> That's right. Probably for the rest of your life. Let me break the program down for you so you can see how it works. It starts off with a, a two-day sales and success seminar. Now I'm going to be doing it in Columbia, Maryland. If you have to fly out, it's worth a plane flight. The value of that is $995. I bring my best sales live training there. That's valued at $995. It also comes with our How to Close Deals audio set. So you can have our six-part audio CD set to dive into the details on how you can close more sales, proven testing techniques, proven formulas, how to qualify prospects. I mean, just step by step. The value of that is $205. And then it also comes with our pride and joy, our silver partner program that I was just telling you about. And here's how the program works. It's valued at $1,295. Every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I lead a 60-minute sales training call. No rah-rah, no hype, no hoopla. I deliver 30 minutes of content in one area of sales and success. And these are real ideas for real folks that really works. 
each week I cover a different topic. And during those 30 minutes, I'm going to take the best ideas I know on that topic and transfer them from my brain to yours. One of the benefits of this program is right here on the slide is that all the calls are digitally recorded and delivered to your computer. And why would you want the audio recording? Well, maybe you can't make the live call. So you want to listen to the call through the speakers of your computer, on your iPad, in your car. Simply listen to a call a second or third time until these ideas are burned into your subconscious mind. Another benefit, and this is really a great benefit, is each week, typically on Saturday or Sunday, you'll get a written copy of our best ideas sent to your email. So now you have a copy of all my key ideas. This is great trainer trainer material. Another benefit, and listen very closely to this one, 30 minutes of questions and answers. So now you can email me any questions in advance or join the live call and ask your question. And this is really special. I mean, I don't know if another program on the planet that allows you to reach someone at my level every single week. And it's all recorded. It's awesome. The last benefit is we have a social media community. And this is like a private community like MySpace or Facebook where you can connect with other civil partners all over the country so you can instantly expand your network. And I do awesome video and online training. Now, here's what you learn in the program. You learn how to set unlimited appointments. You learn how to generate more leads. You learn how to consistently close the sale. You learn how to handle every objection with confidence and ease so you don't come across as pushy or salesy, for lack of a better term. We'll teach you how to break out of your income comfort zone. I mean, sometimes folks work with me, and I told some of those stories. They've been making the same income month after month, and now they have a breakthrough and they achieve the income they've always wanted. But if you improved in any of the areas that I talked about, what would happen to your income? And the obvious answer, it would go up. Let me give you, tell you our guarantee. Our guarantee is we'll let you test drive the program for 30 days. And if you don't feel this program will benefit you today or in the future, we'll refund your money 100%, no questions asked. And there it is right there. We got a rock solid guarantee. And I'm really, really pleased to be able to offer that guarantee to you. So let me, let me go ahead and tell you the special offer because we're doing something really, really special. Call my office. And we're going to send a special offer. You can call 202-449-7737 or send me an email, 202-449-7737. It's the phone number. Or email me at shaybrown at partnerslearning.com. So test drive the program today. And where you have $1,295 in your notes, just go ahead and cross that out. So this package here, you got comes to $2,495. There it is right there on the slide. Sales Success Boot Camp, valued at $995, two full days of training with me. We do it about three times a year. Our Closed Home Study Program, valued at $205. Our One-Year Mentor Program, valued at $1,295. So that total package is $2,495. But here's the deal today. Cross it out and write down $299. That's right, $299. Call our office immediately. We take Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, and you get the entire package for two hundred ninety-nine dollars. Or we even have we make it really easy to say yes. You can put down ninety-nine dollars down today, easy payment option, and twenty-five dollars per month for the next twelve months. And I want you to think for a moment: How many sales do you need to recoup two hundred ninety-nine dollars? Maybe it's three, maybe it's two. Heck, one sale, and it pays for this program ten to 100 times over just that one sale and now you have me on your sales success team you can wrap my proven sales systems around you to work with me for one full year to increase your cash reserves have peace of mind and close more options but here's some financial incentives to take action even over and beyond today a couple of bonuses bonus number one is we have a seven sales audio CD set it's valued at $400 we're gonna release that to you immediately 100 plus hours of my best sales training content. These are calls that are in the archives. Each call has a title. And you can go back, you can access any of these calls, and it's valued at $1,000. And it's topics like how to generate unlimited referrals, how to become a follow up master, how to sell in this new economy, or just, just really how to explode your results. And then there's also a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. It's valued at $250 and our Fast Track Sales Webinar. And that's my step-by-step -step approach. Last year, people said, Shay, I got right now bills. I need right now money. And I really didn't have a program for them. So we created this program for $495. It's 
awesome. You get the video, the slides, the audio, you get the entire package. Then the bonuses we're offering today is valued at $2,145. So here's, here's a special offer. Take a look at it right here. I mean, don't want to miss this. Here's what it is. When you enroll in the Silver Partner Program today, you get all bonuses, about a shade over $4,000 for just $299 or $99 down and $25 per month. So here's what I want you to do right now. Pick up the phone, call our office, 202-449-7737. No matter what time it is, call the office, 202-449-7737. Leave your name and phone number and say, I want the special deal. And some of my office will contact you immediately. Or you can click right there and just go right there and you can sign up immediately. Just email me at shaybrown at partnerslearning.com. Again, shaybrown at partnerslearning.com. And I always think about it. What's the worst case scenario if you take action today? Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario is you test drive the program. You go through it for 30 days. And you say, you know what, Shay? <laughs> this program is not for me. No problem. We refund your money 100%. No questions asked. Okay, so let me, let me ask the question. What's the best case scenario? The best case scenario is you take a step and this becomes the missing piece for you. You close one sale and it pays for the program. And after that, it's all profit. I mean, every single month is just more profit in your pocket. You're making more sales with less effort and you found an easier way to be successful in sales. And I promise you, the worst case scenario will not happen. You will be successful. The next 12 months will be your 12 months ever. You will step up. You will use these techniques and you will close sales faster with less effort. I want to thank you so much for being on the call today. I want you to know that you're awesome. You're a winner. Thank you for participating in this webinar. And you know, one of the things I'm going to close with, this is one of my comments, and this is my favorite slide up there, is do small things well, get big results. So a small thing to do is take a step, give me a call, 202 Four four nine seven seven three seven again two zero two four four nine seven seven three seven. Take advantage of the Silver Partner Program special two hundred ninety nine dollars or ninety nine dollars down and twenty five dollars per month. You're awesome. You're incredible. You have what it takes. You will be successful. Go out there, make a difference in the world today. Make it a great day, everyone. And we're gonna make good things happen. When we connect on the other side. Bye bye.